I mean, Kentucky was ready to play tonight. We weren't. Cal had his guys ready to go. I didn't. They looked great. We looked awful. Our defensive intensity was not that. I mean, we, I told our guys after the game, we've had question marks about our defense all year. Those question marks are uh, completely erased. Everybody knows that we don't really guard at this point because I thought our effort stunk. I mean, we, you know, part of the issue was we turned it over. They scored 29 points off our 16 turnovers. So you can't turn the ball over that much. Our starting backcourt had too many turnovers. We, we need to do a better job attacking them, taking care of the ball. But, you know, we had us for giving up 16 points in transition, not including the points off turnovers. So you, Take the 29 points off turnovers, 16 other points in transition. All of a sudden, you're at 45 points before you even give your half-court defense a, a chance to get a stop. And then once they got in the half-court, I didn't think we were that great in the area anyway, either. So, you know, and Kentucky shot the ball pretty well. Shoot, they were the team that's supposed to be able to shoot, and they, they shot it twice because we did. And they gave up 54% from three. We gave up 63% from the field. And, any kind of decent defense was played in the last eight minutes when I thought the game was already over when I guess in Kentucky probably was coasting to the end. So there's not a whole lot of positives about this. The only, the only positive thing is we played well enough on offense through the course of the year to be tied for first place after that horrendous effort. So we've got four, four games left, and we got to try to figure out how to get these guys a little more motivated to play harder on defense. All right. Coach. Um, did you feel that when well, you knew that uh, Kentucky could run, there was a running team, and you all were a running team, uh, was there any thought in your mind that you may want to do something to try to, to try to stop them from running? Because in the middle of the first half, Kentucky started pulling on points, and, you, and your, your passes weren't as pinpoint as they had been. Uh, and so, I mean, was there any thought about how to, how to change up the, the momentum of the game or the tempo or anything? Yeah, I mean, we, we knew transition defense was key to the game, and we knew if we turned it over, it was going to fuel their transition. So, you know, I, I didn't have a third point guard to put in that wasn't going to turn it over. You know, I'm not – would have helped to have Latrell Wright, so, but he wasn't going to make up 22 points tonight. But, you know, he, he, he is shooting it better than the rest of our guys and taking care of the ball better than the rest of them. So, would have helped to have him. That certainly wasn't going to make the difference in today. We needed everybody to play a lot better. But you know, I'm not sure what else I would have done to change up. I'm certainly not going to walk the ball up the floor. I don't know that that would have helped anyways. We turned the ball over more probably. So most of our points weren't, or most of our turnovers weren't transition turnovers. They were just careless passes, being careless with the ball, throwing it straight to the other team and pick and roll. You know, I'd have to go through all 16 of the turnovers to tell you all of them. But, yeah, I, I mean, we knew that they were dangerous in transition. We knew we couldn't turn it over. We'd turn it over, and I, I felt like we had too many guys not to give us an effort to get back in transition and get matched up, and they made us pay like we suspected they would if, if we didn't do a good job. Do you think the defensive issues are fixable, or is it just going to take perfect offense to have a chance in games like this? There's no perfect offense. It's gonna. I mean, we 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 gave up a one four six tonight. Like I don't yeah, like best offense in the country. I, mean, I don't know if there's many games in the country where somebody scored better than a one four six. So, you know, Kentucky's good offensive team, and they're they were top ten coming into the game. We know that you know, Cal's done a really good job kind of fixing the shooting issues he's had in the past. You know, he recruited some shooters. They got some shooters, and he had some other guys today. You know, Justin Edwards goes. 4-4, and he hadn't been shooting it all that great. But, you know, we let Dillian Ham, Shepard, and Reeves all shoot over 50% too. So, you know, the, he's done a good job getting the roster fixed to where they've got good shooting to space the floor out. Obviously, they're better on offense. But, I, no, if the defense isn't fixable, we, we're not going to be able to win any big games. So, I, I think – I don't know that it's fixable to the point where we can be like we were last year. We were third in the country. That – that's past the point of doing that, but you know maybe we can hold somebody to a one one or one two instead of a one four six, and hopefully our offense is a one two or one three, which that puts a lot of pressure on your on your offense every night out. But our offense has been pretty good, you know. Even, I mean, even tonight, 
it wasn't all, you know, if we take away the 16 turnovers, it wasn't a total disaster, but, you know, we were a 1-1-7. One, one, so if we get our defense, like, down to a 1-1, one, one, we'd probably have a chance. So I think there's parts of it fixable. Uh, some of it, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know. With that. Nate, you mentioned Justin Edwards just a minute ago. What made it so difficult uh, to try to guard him in this game? It's you know been one of his best games since he's been at Kentucky. Yeah, he's ten for ten from the field. Shoot, he didn't miss a shot. I, I, I mean, you know, he's a guy that's big, strong, physical, and when he goes four or four from three, and you don't do a very good job cutting him off. I, you know, I thought we gave up back cuts and. We just we weren't locked in on the defense, and I didn't have any of these guys ready to go well enough. But when a guy like that, that's as athletic as him, and play, like he goes four or four from three, you're, you're, you're in trouble. Matthew. Yeah, he was. Rollin Griffin was only two of eight from three point land, but finished with 21 points. Uh, had four assists, didn't turn the ball over. What have you seen from him tonight, and then just the progression that you've seen in year two? Yeah, I mean he's definitely getting better. You know, we, we're relying on him more. He's a pretty smart kid. He's usually been decent on defense for us. He's kind of been one of the brighter spots, at least his on-ball defense. But, you know, he he needed to be better for us on defense, but it would be nice if he shot a little bit better. But we, we can't rely on just shooting, you know, making 12, 15 threes to win games. I mean, 6 of 17, we didn't get up as many as we want. A large part of that's how Kentucky guarded us. They wanted to run us off the line. They did a really good job. And, you know, Ryland got up the most of anybody. But, you know, I mean, he, he was solid. Shoot, he didn't have a turnover. That's better than you can say about most of the rest of the roster tonight. Kyle. Nate, they had a lineup that over six minutes, scored 28 points. It was the three guards, Edwards and Avisic. Anything you saw from that group in particular that just makes them really tough to guard? Yeah, I mean, Z had 18 points and less than 20 minutes. I mean, we didn't do a very good job guarding him at all. You know, we were supposed to switch. We knew he was a shooter. We and then switch coverage and give up a three. I, like, I have no idea. Like, pick and pop is not supposed to work against the switching coverage. And we switched, and somehow he still popped and got off a three. Our guys were not on the same page defensively. You know, that, that like, those three guards are obviously uber talented. Shoot it, score it. When you add in, uh, who was it? it? Was the three guards and Edwards and Z? Yeah, Edwards goes 10 of 10. You know, Z goes 7 of 11. And you got three really talented guards that can all pass, dribble, and shoot. Like, that's a really good offensive group. And we didn't guard, and then we obviously didn't make them pay on art. You know, I'm guessing that maybe that group doesn't just play play as much together because they're a poor defensive group. But if they're going to score every time down. I mean, it doesn't matter. Like. You know, they're hitting threes every other possession and scoring every time down. I, I don't know what that defensive group had over that eight minutes, but I'm guessing it was good enough to probably look at playing that lineup more. We, we probably helped Cal out a little bit tonight, figuring some lineups out that work. Because, shoot, what, they, they scored 28 points in eight minutes or something? Is that what you said? Six minutes, 28 points in six minutes. Yeah, I'm guessing the point uh, efficiency in that six minutes is probably over 2.0 or something, which is absurd. I mean, we just, I don't know what kind of records they set tonight on offense, but I'm guessing they set a few. Blake. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned the turnovers already. They were high in this game, high in the losses to Tennessee and Auburn. At this point in the season, what goes into fixing that, especially in some of these big games on the road? Yeah, I mean, our guards got to take care of the ball. I mean, they're like if, you know, we're just careless with some of them. Like we, we've got... You know, Mark and Aaron are really good guards, but to have 11 turnovers between your starting backcourt, like that's not a recipe for winning basketball. So I, you know, I think we've done a decent job putting them in. Co and again, this Kentucky was was pretty good defensively. They've had their defensive woes as we have. We looked like we were way today. We were way worse than they were defensively. They were better today, and but. Tennessee, Auburn got up into us. They were physical. They played today. You know, I'd have to go back and look at every one. I remember some of them were just careless. Some of them they got in the paint, just got caught in the air. We just weren't disciplined enough with our ball security. Just making some undisciplined plays, to be honest with you. Last one, Kentucky inside in the middle. Okay. All right. Thank you, guys. All right.